It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another teaser trailer breakdown for an upcoming episode of Fear the Walking Dead. This is my teaser trailer breakdown for Season 6, Episode 11, which is called The Holding. There's actually a meaning behind the title, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Stay tuned, we'll be right back to break this down. Alright, as always, before we get into this breakdown, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community, share and smash the like button, and press the bell to be notified when we upload. Alright, so this episode seems to be the start of a new storyline as far as Season 6 of Fear is concerned, and it centers around the new community that we've heard a lot about called The End is the Beginning. Now, we did get our first tease near the end of the last episode but it definitely looks like they're gonna do a lot more with them in this episode and we're gonna dive into what they're all about which is very interesting and exciting we're actually gonna take a look at two teasers that they released both are very short but i just found very interesting stuff in both so i decided to do a breakdown for both of them combined so this teaser starts with this shot of alicia next to a new character i'm just gonna call him new guy from here on out but we have this new guy and alicia and they're staring down this walker that's tied to a tree with vines growing around it we've seen this walker tons of times before now obviously we're gonna have to wait and see why they're keeping a walker like this in their underground tunnels but i'm assuming there's a reason behind it but this guy right here tells alicia take a good look tell me exactly what you see so that's interesting not sure what to make of that but obviously i'm assuming that to them the walker is some sort of a symbol of something so it's going to be interesting to see what it is the next shot we have is this shot of Alicia actually kicking someone in the face. It's not a walker, it's a person. One of the End is the Beginning group members. And then we have this shot of walkers chained to radiators, which is very interesting. So we have them here. Their lips are sealed. We've seen them in other teasers before, but we will see a lot more of them in this teaser. But very interested to see why the End is the Beginning group did this, because I'm assuming they're responsible. Now, we do know that one of these walkers will have a CRM uniform. So I wonder if that's going to come into play and if that's going to be significant in this episode. But it is something that I picked up on in one of the other teasers that they released. Then we have this shot, very interesting shot of people inside the and is the beginning group's community. Obviously, it's an underground tunnel of sorts, but it seems like it's a thriving community, which is very interesting. Then we have another shot of this walker again that's wrapped around in vines around the tree that we just looked at. And then we have this shot of this guy right here with the beard. This seems to be the leader of the end is the beginning group, or at least that's what we call it until they get a proper name but he's their leader so I'm just going to refer to him as their leader from here on out because I don't know his name yet and then we have this shot of someone doing something not even sure what they're doing but it seems like there is some sort of a workstation that they have where they're doing experiments or things of that nature that's what it seems like and then we have this shot of this walker inside a grave of sorts he's being buried or something along those lines there's like some sort of a machinery there as well. And then we have this shot of, again, the survivors in the underground tunnels. So we have this shot, which is pretty much a lot of food, a lot of potatoes, carrots, and so on. And then in the voiceover, someone says, do you know the truth? It sounds like it's the new guy, but I could be wrong. And then we have this shot of Luciana. It seems like Alicia, Luciana, Wes, and Al end up in this location so that's going to be interesting but in the voiceover luciana says i was in a place like this once before and then we have this shot of them planting more vegetables and things like that and then we have this shot of something that's the hand of the new guy on the other side but we do see this thing right here i don't know if that's a pen or it's a microphone or something like that but then this guy says i don't think you've been in a place like this so again, very intrigued to see what this group is all about and how they're different 
from any of the other groups that we've seen. Then we have this shot of Wes and the voiceover. Luciana says, how many people live down here? Obviously, down here makes it very clear that they're in some sort of a underground tunnel or underground bunker, which definitely goes back to what Dakota said in the last episode. Because in the last episode, she said that Virginia mentioned that they were underground, but Dakota thought that she just meant that they were laying low, but that's not what she meant. She literally meant that they're underground. So this connects to that. And obviously they have a painting there with the name, the end is the beginning. That's obviously their motto. Definitely connects back to the walker with the vines growing around it on the tree that we saw. So there's a lot of different themes going on when it comes to this group. We don't know their name, but it looks like that's what we should call them for now. The end is the beginning. So very interested to see what they're all about. Then we have this shot of Luciana saying, these aren't hard questions. And Alicia says, come on, you got to give me something. So they're just trying to gather some information from this guy or maybe even the leader, but they're not giving them anything. To be completely honest, I don't think we're going to learn much in this episode. We're just going to get a lot of questions and not a lot of answers. But then we have this shot of Alicia burning a match. Looks like she's going to burn down the place. I don't think she's going to do that, but... And then we have this shot of the walker again, and then this shot of Alicia talking to the leader. She says, I'm not buying any of this shit you're selling. So that's interesting. And then we have this shot of Alicia elbowing someone in the face. Now, obviously she's elbowing one of the members of the end is the beginning group, but it's gonna be interesting to see why she does this and what their percussions are. But we obviously do see Wes in the back as well. And this connects to another shot that's in this trailer where we have a bunch of the survivors inside an elevator. And I'm assuming this is from that scene. Then we have this shot of Alicia reaching out to get her hands on this sharp object. And there's another guy in the background. I'm assuming she's fighting him. And then we have this shot of Alicia in the same area where there's all of these walkers with their lips sealed and their hands chained to the radiators. Alicia's reaching out for something, not sure what exactly. And then we have this shot of Alicia throwing down the match with the flame. And it definitely seems like she's gonna try to burn down the place. Not sure if she's gonna be successful, like I said. Then we have this shot, the one I mentioned. So we have Wes, Al, Alicia, and members of the End is the Beginning group coming out of the elevator. I'm assuming this is what connects to the other shot where Alicia elbows the guy in the face. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens there. But in the voiceover, we have the guy saying, welcome to the holding. So they're calling the place that they have underground, the underground bunkers, the holding, which is very interesting. Then we have this shot of the guy again. He says, I think you're going to like it here. Now, these are two different trailers. That's why there's a lot of back and forth. But he says, I think you're going to like it here. And then we have this shot of Wes and Al looking at something. And then another member of the end is the beginning group in the background. And then when they pass by, it's revealed that they're actually looking at the painting, which we looked at, which says the end is the beginning. In the voiceover, the guy says, you see, they were planning something. So that's interesting. That leads me to think that maybe they had planned all of this ahead of time before the fall of society. Could be something like that, similar to what they did on The Walking Dead when it comes to Alexandria. Obviously, this is very different, but maybe there's parts of it that are very similar. Then we have this shot of Morgan, Dwight, and the wife of one of the rangers that was killed. I think his name was Isaac. In the voiceover, Dakota says, I want to help. Again, I hope they don't go the redeeming route with Dakota, but it looks like they're doing exactly that, which I'm not a fan of. And then this very awesome shot of Althea walking in the middle of all of these walkers with their lips sealed, which we just looked at. Extremely cool shot of her. And then we have this shot of Wes and Luciana. Wes says, it won't hurt me. Not sure what he's talking about, but I'm assuming it has something to do with the walker on the tree or maybe even the walkers with their lips sealed. But I'm assuming they're actually looking at the painting right here. I could be wrong about that. And then we have this shot of lights turning on. And then we get another shot of the workstation that we looked at earlier. 
it looks like there could even be some blood in there like the tubes and everything are collecting blood that could be very very dark if they end up going that route i don't think they're taking the blood of the survivors but that could be what they are doing and then we have this shot of the leader i'm assuming and the guy walking into a room alicia and the voiceover says if you want to kill me it's not gonna happen she's obviously talking to the leader right here and then we have this shot of the walker with his lips sealed again and then this shot of someone with a gun could be alicia could be someone else this shot of luciana walking in the middle of the walkers that we looked at earlier and then this shot i think this is alicia but i could be wrong and then this shot of flames i'm assuming this connects to the shot of alicia lighting the match and throwing it down but that's pretty much it that's the end of this teaser this breakdown may have been longer than i intended but we did cover two teasers but i hope you enjoyed this teaser breakdown if you did make sure to share and smash the like button if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing to join our community and press the bell to be notified when we upload that's it for this video see you next time for another super video